Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm ID Explosive. Well, let's crack it to another one. TNT. Yo. It's a sad day. Why, Jonas? Because the Cheddar Bay Biscuits might be off the table forever. <laughs> listen, listen. You said a lot of sick shit to me in your life. <laughs> Right. You Don't said, you dare take away my chair. You said a lot of messed up things to me in your life. But if you ever talk about the extinction of the Cheddar Day, Cheddar, Cheddar Day, Cheddar, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, I will discontinue this relationship. <laughs> podcast over. I'm telling you right now. All right. You're going to start the Cheddar Bay podcast. Yeah. This is TNT, the Cheddar Bay podcast. Well, you, you're on thin ice, buddy. Uh, you're on so thin ice. All right. Red Lobster is going to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which means they're going to do a restructure. They it, they they claim they're not closing. <laughs> they're um, closing nine. <laughs> They're not close. They're not closing for good. No, like, they're yeah. closing a bunch of. Locations. They're gonna close a ton of restaurants. Um, like so okay. So there's like a little bit of a conspiracy theory with this. So uh, yeah. What, oh my god, and people are going nuts with this. So Go what ahead. they say happened is you know they were they were struggling. I mean they're they they're kind of C tier seafood. You know really. Well, they used to be well, like the, no, the no. best. Well, there's more. To, there's that all is gets intertwined. Yeah. Because I remember being a kid and going to Red Lobster and like it was like it was fairly expensive. It was good quality food. Yeah. And then over time, it's become like the Denny's of seafood restaurants. The IHOP was shellfish. Yeah. So what now? What they're claiming happened is that the executives had a great idea to have never ending shrimp, which by the way they've been doing forever. It mm -hmm. isn't like this last campaign was the breaking point, mm -hmm. and they lost eleven million dollars, which is a loss leader. So yeah, you, you, I mean, you know. yeah, they go in to do all you can eat, and they order cheesecake and all sorts of other. Yeah, bullshit. and you're definitely going to order more biscuits. You're going to order a biscuits lobster. are free though. So yeah, um, <laughs> if anything, the lost loser send goddamn biscuits. I know they only uh, bring you, they only I, bring you two out. At well, a time. I I go in, I eat thirty seven biscuits, and I take my dinner home. <laughs> and I eat that the next day. What'd you have for dinner? Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Uh, I mean. I had 97,000 calories and, uh, and 492 worth, billion carbs. It was worth every single it was. one. There, oh, my God. I would do. I, man, I want to go today. Uh, so, basically, they're saying that, that, that because of that uh, promotion, they lost money. And now, they got to go bankrupt. But they were in ridiculous debt, more than $11 billion. Yeah. So, what the real story supposedly is, you know, quotes, is Red Lobster is not actually a, a public company. No. Like, they're a private-owned company. And but, it's been bought and sold a bunch of yeah, times. Yeah, so, so what happened, but there is a, what, the, there's a general conspiracy theory about uh, publicly traded companies that big, like, hedge funds and equity firms will bu buy into a company, uh, put, like, plants in, like, in their high executive level, the board, and then try to bankrupt them on purpose. Like, mm -hmm. and in the in the meantime, making themselves rich by selling off their assets, do, putting them in tons of debts, doing share buybacks, all this bullshit. So they make a ton of money. They leave. The company goes bankrupt. They're like, oh, sorry. So, but, they're, but these are private, so it's a little different. But what they said happened, Red Lobster uh, used to own the land that their restaurants were on. Yeah. And that was one yeah. of the biggest things is they bought the land, built the restaurant, so they don't have overhead costs for, like, land. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's a lot of upfront costs. Well, they, they were sold at one point, and what the, uh, what the company that bought them did was they sold them, or they bought them, sold all the land, because mm -hmm. that was worth a lot of money, mm -hmm. to other equity firms yep. who then charge exorbitant rent yeah. To Red Lobster, yeah, yeah. which was even more, le even less cost effective than before, which then caused them to start cutting corners, like buying less good food, yeah. things like that. So their quality went down. People don't go there as much. Their costs are higher, yeah. which is what has actually turned them. And then they're basically, and then, you know, they want the land. They don't care about the restaurant. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, go ahead. You can go away. We want your land because they have a lot of prime spots because Red Lobster has been around a long time. Right. So. I don't know, man. I believe that. Yeah. I mean, it's what you said is absolutely uh, that's the case. That's what is happening. They, they're they currently owned by a, a, the company. I think it's like a Thai company, too. Don't quote me on that. Oh, okay. But it's the same company that owns Olive Garden. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot and of you've those seen, conglomerates. Like, you've seen a fall in all, a lot of these chain restaurants like yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because they don't care about the business. 
Yeah. They want, they're like, how can we get rich? Like, we bought it. Let's sell off the assets. Let's do whatever. Okay, cool. Like, it can flounder and die now. I don't I, care. I kind of, like, I hate to say this, but is it is it really, like, the death of the chain restaurant like this? Um, Because, like, know. they're not, like, obviously, you have, like, higher-end restaurants that are still going to be popular. Your Nobu's, your... Uh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, just high-end restaurants. Yeah, right? like, everybody's going to want the fine dining. But right now, well, in American culture, it's not cost-effective to go out and eat. Chili's is terrible. Terrible. Applebee's is terrible. Nobody has anything good to say well, about here's Red the thing. Lobster. It's so expensive now. I mean, that's why I said it's it, not cost effective. Right, if so I'm like, going to go spend 80 bucks on a dinner, I'm going to go to a steakhouse that has bomb ass food. And so spend that's 80 what I'm saying. Do you feel like it's like the death of the like the it's chain coming. family restaurant? It's coming because even fast food's getting to the point where people aren't buying it. Did you hear that McDonald's is coming out with like a five dollar box, but it's only going to be around for a month? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The fuck. Nobody like, you can't go to McDonald's. Yeah, man. like I even I mean, who the hell if here okay, if I can go to McDonald's and get a eleven ninety nine Big Mac meal, thirteen dollars after tax, or I can go somewhere else and get an eighteen dollar meal, I'm doing that every time because McDonald's is ass. Yeah. The only thing McDonald's had going for it was that it was two dollar burgers. You spend the extra six bucks for higher quality food, is what you're saying. It, yeah, because it used to be you'd spend twelve extra dollars for high quality food, and you're like, okay, mm. I can eat a two dollar double cheeseburger instead of a ten dollar burger at Red Robin. Kids, I want you to remember back to the day when McDonald's had a dollar menu. Yeah. A dollar menu where you could get a single burger. Yeah. A double cheeseburger for a dollar. Yeah. Junior bacon cheeseburgers at Wendy's used to be 99 cents. Now they're like three fifty. You could get a McChicken for a dollar. Yeah. I would go there with five dollars and I would survive. Oh yeah. People used to make McGangbangs where they where they take the <laughs> I mean, you, one of those. you take the double yeah. cheeseburger and you split the two you split the two patties and yeah. you shove a McChicken in the middle yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for two dollars. I've only had the I don't remember which one it was, but the one where you would take like the uh the egg McMuffin and you put a, a burger in it or something or you take like an egg McMuffin you put like a McChicken in it but you have to go at like the right time where they're still serving breakfast and they're still you get like, you get like the end of the day yeah. the end of the morning shift yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, I've gotten that one time it, perfect timing it it I mean yeah because I saw a thing that like uh, some uh, it was like an info chart infographic about like yeah like even everything at McDonald's and Burger King and all those places like yeah the old like a year four years ago like yeah like a it was like a, a double cheeseburger was like a dollar fifty nine or something and now yeah. it's like four dollars like everything is stupid expensive I guess I guess there's a lot to do with the the change in the culture as well American culture we're smarter now we know that cigarettes are bad for you we know that fast food's bad for you a lot less people are going out to get a burger anymore it used to be like common. Hey, let's go to let's go to Fridays, get a burger, you know? No, nah, we ain't doing that anymore. We know that it's bad for us. So with the increase in education, yeah. the, the decrease in pay, the increase in inflation, it makes that setting just less appetizing. So what does what does Red Lobster do to stay open? They could they could change their model. They could go to like maybe like a uh like like a like a what's the restaurant I like going to? Uh, Chipotle. They could go to like a Chipotle bottle. I model? don't think they could do Chipotle at seafood. You don't think so? No. What, what they no, here's what they they honestly need to do is they what do you need, think? is what they're gonna do is they're gonna they're gonna take a look. They're gonna shut down the non the super non profitable stores. Yeah. Because some of them I'm sure are profitable. They're they're closing like a hundred locations. Yeah. They're gonna cut they're gonna cut the fat. They're gonna trim down staffing. They're they're gonna have to start offering more like more like reasonably cost but like cost effective dishes so it's like more you're serving more at a lower price point and like and it's they're gonna struggle man because see like see how are they ever gonna compensate for the amount they have to pay in land i mean they're closing 100 locations yeah but i but mean it's it i mean they really i mean they really screwed themselves man i mean i don't know if they i just feel like they're an archaic just antiquated industry man like no nobody's going to these restaurants they've been bought and sold over so many times to like find one that's actually still quality like do you remember when chipotle used to be good like if you like Applebee's used to be good, Fridays used to be good, McDonald's used to be good. All of the Did restaurants they? used to be good. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't I mean? Look, if you think about it, man, it used to think about going to Red Lobster, and that was like the pace you take your mom. That was a special occasion, or like you just fucking graduated. Let's go to Red. Lo you know what? It's a special day. Let's go to Red Lobster because they used to sell you quality. You've already said that they decreased in quality. All these places used to be good. 
good. But after they've been bought and sold so much, they're part of like American history, but they're also just history. Yeah, like, no, man, I agree. Well, and the other thing not, is too, seafood it used to ain't be. like the most popular type of restaurant. Ain't people, people eat burgers four days a week. People ain't eating <laughs> seafood four days a week. I would think is that the amount of people that eat a burger four days a week has drastically decreased. Oh, I would agree country. too, but yeah. But you are not wrong. Right. Like, I mean, I would, I would, if somebody's like pick a food to eat every day of the week, I'm not picking seafood. No. I don't think many people would. No. Even if you love crab legs, nobody's like, I want to eat crab legs every day. Bro, I don't know. I do eat shrimp like every day. <laughs> yeah, but. I do eat shrimp. Like, I could definitely, like, oh, and Cheddar Bay biscuits. I mean, that's not I seafood, can, I can eat those for every meal. I, Look, they do sell the Cheddar Bay biscuits in your grocery stores. Watch them. You have to follow the directions to a T yeah. or you will F them up. Trust me. I mean, I that's know. how directions work. These are different. <laughs> you have to follow these directions extra directly. I mean, if you are two seconds late, you will F up a biscuit and you will yeah, be disappointed. Yeah. And, to a it, tea. and I'll tell you what, Stand. you, you got a little extra cheese, a little extra shredded cheese, a little extra garlic powder. Don't listen and salt. to him. Don't mm, listen to doctor him. Doctor him up, bro. Don't listen to him. No. Follow the directions. Get out of here. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.